Welcome to Ask a Protein Pro. Today we will look at some quick tips for choosing an effective antibody for Western blotting. Let's get to it. When choosing an antibody for your Western blot, here are some key considerations. First, choose an antibody that is recommended for Western blot analysis and ideally, one that has testing data or is cited in the Western blot application. Second, ensure that the antibody immunogen is suited to the region of the protein you are trying to detect. Use our epitope search to easily find products that detect specific stretches within your protein target. Finally, check the online product page to ensure the primary antibody is raised in a different species than your sample. This is important to avoid cross-reactivity with endogenous immunoglobulins that may be present in your sample. There are a lot of antibodies in the market, but not all are recommended for Western blotting. Thermo Fisher Scientific's antibodies are tested extensively to confirm their specificity. Our advanced verification methods ensure that the antibody binds to the intended protein and shows suitable models for detection. You can identify the products that have already undergone this testing with the Advanced Verification Badge. Next, let's discuss some of the various methods we use to ensure specificity in Western blotting. One of our Advanced Verification Specificity tests includes relative expression to confirm antibody specificity using differential expression of the protein in cell models. Additionally, an siRNA-mediated knockdown or a CRISPR-Cas9-mediated knockout model shows the corresponding reduction or absence of signal from the antibody. Another example includes cell treatment to capture antibody performance in accordance with changes in protein expression. These are just some examples of methods used to ensure specificity in Western blotting with our advanced verification specificity tests. It may be useful to consider how an antibody may recognize epitopes on the target protein and which species it is raised in. You can use this information to choose an antibody best suited for your Western blotting experiments. Polyclonal antibodies identify multiple epitopes on an antigen. They enable quicker capture of the target protein and are useful in detection of low abundance proteins or to identify mutated proteins. Polyclonal antibodies are generally considered to be more sensitive. Monoclonal antibodies interact with a single epitope on the target protein and are less likely to cross-react with other proteins, which is why they are considered more specific. They also offer batch-to-batch -batch reproducibility. Recombinant monoclonal antibodies are a third type of antibody produced using in vitro cloning. They are widely considered to be the most specific and sensitive amongst other types of antibodies. These antibodies offer consistent, reproducible results and are less prone to batch-to-batch -batch variability. Animal-free recombinant antibodies eliminate the risk of contamination associated with animal and human serum-derived media components. As with the primary antibody, it is crucial to consider the host and target species while choosing a secondary antibody. You need to verify that the secondary antibody is raised against the host species of the primary antibody. Choose pre-absorbed or specificity-validated secondary antibodies for reduced cross-reactivity. Based on the end application, choose between enzyme, fluorochrome, or biotin-conjugated secondary antibodies. Antibodies conjugated to enzymes such as horseradish peroxidase, HRP, or alkaline phosphatase, AP, can be used in conjunction with a chemiluminescent or fluorogenic substrate to create a detectable signal. These antibodies offer good signal amplification and when paired with high sensitivity substrates, improve detection of low abundance proteins. Utilizing a biotin conjugated secondary antibody allows one to use the same secondary antibody in multiple applications. Fluorochrome conjugated secondary antibodies are easy to use and a great choice for multiplex experiments. You can choose from a wide range of offerings, including our Invitrogen Alexaflor Plus dyes from the Thermo Fisher Scientific website. We hope these tips for selecting the best antibody for your Western blot have been helpful. To see our complete offering of antibodies, explore our Antibodies for Western Blotting page. 
visit our Western Blotting Learning Center for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.